Hello YouTubers, so today we're going to be talking about classes and properties. Um, I just did a video, it took too long, so I'm going to speed up things a little bit. If I talk too fast, because YouTube has a limit of 10 minutes, so congratulations YouTube. So uh, I just started a brand new project in here. I'm going to uh, right click my property, go to add, click class. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to create a car class. Um, so I'm trying to emulate what a car, some of the properties that a car would have. Cars have plenty of properties. Uh, we're going to be working with the engine, the number of doors, and the color. So if we want to create a property for the car class, first thing we do is name the property. So I'm going to create the property, the engine property. I have to make that a public member so then my object can access it. And I'm going to make this into a string. Um, right now I'm not going to make, actually right now I'm not going to make into a property. I'm just going to make into a public member so I can show you the difference. Uh, the next one is going to be a number of doors. Number of doors is an integer. So integer number of doors. Um, number of doors, uh, double R's, uh, there you go. Uh, finally, here we go. And the next one is going to be the color. So let's make a public um, string color. So right now, excuse me, if I save this and I go inside my form here in the load event and I try to instantiate a new car, so my car, my car equals new car. And if I go look at my card now, dot, I see all these public members. These are not properties, those are public members. That's why they have a little blue icon right next to them. Um, at this point, you can read and write data to the public members um, regardless. You know, all you have to do is respect the type of members that these are. So uh, this is a color uh, member. This is a, I'm sorry, this is a string member, string color member, and this is a, uh, a string engine, and this is an integer number of doors. But we don't want to do that. We actually want to create properties. So for that, um, let's go ahead and create some uh, what we call automatic properties. Uh, I'm going to use the get and set accessors here. I hope that's the right way to pronounce it. Um, not really sure. Never heard anybody say it. So um, here we go. So now that I have added those um, those accessors in there, uh, those become properties. So now if we go back, let me save this right here, and I go back into my four. To my, my form, and then if I look at those uh, public members, they now have uh, they now become properties. So you can actually see that the icon changed. But now here's the thing: uh, at this point, I can I can I can set it up to anything. So let's say uh, my car the engine. I can say that this is this is string. I can say that this is a V56. There's nothing stopping. Logically, it doesn't make any sense because there's no such a thing as a V56. But uh, but um, technically, there's nothing wrong because all I said was property is going to be a string, and V56 is a string, so therefore I should be able to assign that. So one way to restrict um, automatic properties is to actually um, you could actually change uh, the type. Um, uh, you can actually change the type of the of the property. Actually, on my sample here, we have to work with the number of doors. So dot number of doors. I can set this as an integer, so I can set this to like twelve. And uh, again, logically, there's nothing wrong. Um, uh, technically, there's nothing wrong because twelve is an integer. But uh, logically, it makes no sense. There's no such thing as a car with twelve doors. At least I don't think so. Uh, I hope there isn't. Otherwise, I will look like a fool. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, so uh, let's go ahead and then try to restrict that. Instead of using um, an int in here, I'm going to go ahead and use a enumerator. I don't know if you guys have seen this before. If not, it's very simple to use. Um, so I'm just going to copy and paste the enumerator that I created in here. So I'm going to create inside the, uh, I'm going to create an enumerator inside the, the, the public class, uh, inside the uh, car class. And then in here, I'm going to create, instead of having the uh, number of door, doors as an integer, I'm going to say that the number of doors is going to be car.doors.number of doors. And then I'm going to say get and set. Okay, so that's going to restrict. Uh, this is the type that I can use now. And the only two options that I'm going to have is uh, two and four. So that's going to be pretty cool. I'm go ahead and save that. And now if I try to access my number of doors again, and I put equals to. See how it is by default it goes to uh, cars.doors, my enumerator. And I only have two options, two or four. So I'm going to say my car is four doors. So that's one way to restrict automatic and uh, automatic properties. Um, another way of doing this is uh, going back to the um, going back to the uh, engine um, sample that I that I used earlier. At this point, I can set my engine to anything that I want to, right? V56, which makes 
logically no sense. So one thing that I can do is expand this uh, automatic properties here and uh, not have it be automatic properties and actually use some uh, private variables. Private string, I'm gonna call underscore engine. And then in here, let me go ahead and expand those as well. So now I'm going to say that my underscore engine, this private variable that I create, equals a value. And then we're going to return, we're going to return underscore engine. So what did I just do right now? Let's go ahead and just do this really quick. This is more of a standard uh, way of writing properties. Um, so what am I saying in here? I'm saying that whatever value I pass through the engine property will be assigned to the underscore engine. And then whenever I try to read the value of the engine property, I'm going to return underscore engine. At this point, this statement is still valid because I haven't added any type of validation whatsoever. But if I add something like this, let me add a, a little if statement right above that. Now I'm saying that if the value that I'm trying to pass is V6 or V8, then go ahead and assign this. Otherwise, it's nothing. Nothing's going to be assigned. It's just going to be empty. So uh, let me go ahead and then just add a little text box in here. A little text box is going to be text box one. I should, should be a label, but anyways. Um, now I'm going to say that text box one dot text. It's going to be equal my car dot engine. Okay. So what am I trying to do? I'm trying to set the value of my property over here and I'm trying to read or get the value of my property right over there. So let me see what happens when I try to do this. Let me go ahead and run this. Look, I get nothing because 56, V56 is not at allow value. I'm only looking for V6 or V8. So when I do that, if I try to put V6 in here, if I try to, if I try to set the value of underscore engine to V6 and return that, it's going to allow me to. So I'm going to go ahead and play that. And there you go. Now I have V6 in there. If I do the same for V8, I can go ahead and do that. That's at allow value. Okay. So that's another thing that you can do. You can also, uh, at this point, we're setting, um, we're setting um, write and read properties. You can also set uh, read or write only. So let me give an example of a read only property. Um, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this whole thing so that we don't waste time with my typos and all that. Um, just so we know, we are right here. I just copied this whole thing down. Okay. This is going to be, actually, I should just type that in here. Read, wow. Read only property. Okay. So what did I do here? Let me go ahead and bring this to the bottom here. So what did I do here? I created a, a bold type of a variable. It's a private variable called state, and that's going to hold true or false. And I'm going to use that variable. Look the way that I code my property in here. I use the private keyword right in front of the set. So the only way that I can set the value is through the class itself. So I have to access this value right here through the class itself. If I try to do uh, uh, my car, the car state equals to something, it's not going to let me because the uh, set uh, the set accessor is private. So I'm going to go ahead and then uh, um, use this method, turn on and turn off. Uh, if the car is on, then it's going to turn the car off. If the car is off, it's going to turn the car on, right? It just it makes kind of sense, I guess. Um, and let's go ahead and then try to do that. Let me add a button in here. That's not a button. So let's go ahead and add a button in here. I'm going to double click. And then in here, oh, I have to move my car right here. The scope of work is too limited in there. So I'm going to go ahead and add as a global variable. So now I can access inside my button event. So my car dot turn on or off. Okay. And then I'm going to say that the text one dot text is going to equal to my car dot car state. So it's either going to be true or false, right? It's going to be on or off um, to string. So let's go ahead and give that a try. It says V8 right now because we left that in the uh, load event of the form. And I'm going to click uh, the button one time. is going to turn on my car. It's going to turn my car on. I'm going to click false. It's going to turn my car off. 
uh, on off on off whatever right we burned the engine by now um, so you see that I am setting the value of car state internally through the class if I try to do that in here if I if I turn this if I comment that out and I try to do my car dot car state equals I don't know true I guess true and I try to compile that it's not gonna let me because the uh, accessor is uh, a private accessor so it's not gonna let me do that so that's it for properties I hope this was uh, this was helpful enough ask me questions let me know what you think and uh, I'll try to answer as many people as possible I'm getting a lot of emails lately and with school and work is just become it's becoming very difficult to answer everybody so uh, thank you for watching and let me know what you think thank you bye